Solo queue can be a tough environment, and one of the best ways to play better in solo queue is down to your operator selection. Some operators can be great in a 5 stack, but terrible in solo queue, so in this video I'll be going over the 10 best solo queue operators. And starting at number 10 on the list, we have Mute. Now Mute is one of the top operators in the game in general, but in solo queue he's amazing. Mute jammers counter any electronic gadget in the game, which is most gadgets in the game anyway, so you can run Mute every round and you'll be helping your team. But the best way to use Mute jammers is to stop drones and hard breachers. What I also like to do is if I'm roaming maybe a room or two off site, I'll pocket a mute jammer so I can place it down on me and if I get lion scan, demos track, doka be called, anything like that, I don't have to run back to site, I can just place one down on me. And if you're roaming with another person, this is even better. Another reason why mute is one of the best solo queue operators is because of his loadout. He has one of the best shotguns in the game, the M590, super consistent, decent range, just a standard for shotguns in Siege. He also has one of the best guns in the entire game as his secondary, the SMG11, one of the fastest killing guns in the game and if you get good at controlling the recoil, this gun is amazing. So if you use his loadout correctly, he has one of the best loadouts on defense. And then on top of that, he has a C4, which you can use to get a lot of free kills, especially if you don't have great mechanics, this will allow you to get some kills. So overall, you can pretty much use Mute every round, and he has a great kit, so he comes in at number 10 on my list as the best solo queue operators. But the operator we have coming in at the number 9 spot on this list is Ace. Now Ace is the first and only hard breacher on this list. The reason for this is because as a hard breacher, most of the time you're going to need some support in the form of a teammate. And in solo queue, that support is either not going to be there or if it is there it's not going to be great but with ace you can kind of negate some of that needed support because of how easy it is to frag out with him and the main reason for that is his primary weapon the ak-12 this thing has a fast fire rate high damage and very easy recoil if opening the wall is not working out so well you can use it as a distraction to frag out with the ak-12 and like i said you may need help opening a wall with ace but his versatility compared to other hard breachers and the frag potential makes him the best solo queue hard breacher and if you need a hard breacher ace is almost always the pick another great pick for solo queue is Fenrir. Now Fenrir has been one of the most banned operators in the game ever since his release and as of right now he is the most banned. Now this is for good reason as he's one of the hardest and most annoying operators to play against in the entire game. The reason for this is his traps cover so much area and if you don't destroy them it makes it so hard to push from the areas he's covering. And even if you do destroy it he can just replace it or activate another one in a different area. This level of flexibility and control over his traps makes him super hard to play against and to top it all off he has one of the best guns on defense in the mp7. He also has a bulletproof cam to gather information and a secondary bailiff to create rotates and lines of sight. Fenrir's ability to cover so much area with his traps makes it so you can't get caught off guard when playing as Fenrir, especially if you pocket one of his dread mines, which is obviously great for solo queue. But the next operator we have coming in at number 7 is Zero. Now Zero is the definition of a solo queue operator. He's completely self-sufficient, gathers information for himself and you can also watch flank, has a gun 6 for utility destruction, hard breach charge which you can use your cameras to destroy any bandit or cades on a wall and then breach the wall with the hard breach charge. And then he has the best gun in the entire game, the SC-3000K. Zero is the go-to operator when cooking up solo strats as he can do almost whatever you need. I wouldn't say he's the best in a 5 stack, but in solo queue his value goes up a lot, but he is still number 7 on my list, as I don't think his peak is as high as some of the other operators in this list, but Zero is a great pick at almost any solo queuing round. And a great pick for almost any defending round is Legion. Now Legion allows you to cover so many different entry points and doorways that you can make solo roam strats easy. Use his goo mines to cover areas that attackers can threaten you from so you can make their presence known. You can then act off of this information to go for easier kills. And to do so, you have the laser of an SMG, the T5. You also have a secondary shotgun to help with sight setup and to make rotates and lines of sight that you would need during the round. You also have his bulletproof camera which you can use to gather information. So similar to Fenrir, with Legion you're never going to be caught off guard because of how much air you cover with his mines. You can pretty much cover entire sides of a map with Legion in his mines. And if you're struggling against shields, Legion is one of the best counters, especially in solo queue because it's kind of hard to get your teammates to help against shields in solo queue. But the next operator we have on the list is Gridlock. Now Gridlock might seem like kind of a weird one in this list, but trust me Gridlock is one of the best solo queue operators in the game. If you're ever doing a solo strat and you feel like you could get flanked, run Gridlock. It makes it so the flankers have to make some sort of noise to flank you. And the reason why I like Gridlock over other flank denial operators like Nomad is because Gridlock covers so much more area. And with Nomad, you can't cover certain areas with their air jabs because they can easily be shot and then you'll be killed by a flanker. But with Gridlock, the only way to destroy a track stingers is with the impacts, C4s, or bullets, and all of those options take time and make a lot of noise. Versus Nomad, just one shot or a mute jammer and they'll be on their way to flanking you. And on top of that, she has two great primary weapons that you can choose from to cater to your playstyle. A secondary shotgun, impact EMPs to help your hard breachers, frag grenades if you want to destroy utility or flush enemies out of an area, or you have smoke grenades which you can use to further aid the plant on top of your track stingers. But the next operator we have is Valkyrie. Having information 
information in solo queue is key because you're not going to get call outs and if you do they might not be the best. So you can use your Valkyrie cams to gather information on the attackers without them knowing if you hit your camera as well and it makes it super easy to contest the attackers even without call outs. Now Valkyrie is very good in solo queue because you can gather so much information and your teammates can also gather information and use the information. If you find that you're kind of lost on defense, run Valk. It allows you to make easy plays off of your cameras and you won't be so lost on defense. You can place your cameras in common places the attackers need to push and you can place a C4 below or just take the information to better your defense in general. With three cams, she can have information on so many different areas all at once and if you have some good hiding spots for your cams, they can stay alive till the end of the round, which is when they're going to become more useful because some of, if not most of your team is going to be dead, which they can then ping with the cams giving you a massive advantage. You also have the MPX which is not crazy but super easy to use and you have the Deagle which you can use to make lines of sight to help aid your defense. So with all this in mind, you can see why Valk is such a great solo queue operator. Now another great solo queue operator that's actually been nerfed with the new season but I still think is very strong especially in a solo environment is Dokubi. Now the way Dokubi was nerfed this season, instead of having two calls ready to use at the start of the round, she now has zero but her calls generate throughout the round. You get one call after 45 seconds of generating. Now this is definitely a nerf because you do have to wait a bit longer than you usually would with your first call and you don't have as much control over when you get to use your second call. But every other reason Dokubi was so strong is still present even after the nerf. You still get the roam clearing and overall playmaking ability with her calls and the massive range and you still can capitalize off of her calls with her loadout with a great DMR, an absolute TTK monster in the SMG-12 and stun grenades and you still have the versatility of her secondary gadgets with extra options in impact EMPs and smoke grenades. And then on top of that you still get access to the defender's cameras when you do kill someone and you hack their phone and when your call is active the defenders can't use their cameras. So with how easy it is to drastically affect the round in your favor and with how versatile Dokubi is she's still one of the best operators in the game especially in a solo queue environment. And another operator that's amazing for solo queue is Malusi. Malusi in my opinion is the best solo queue defender in the game. The reason for this is because once again it comes down to how much area she can cover with her traps. She can allow you to cover important areas of the map that would usually need multiple defenders but she can do it all alone. And she's one of the easiest trap ops to play and the best overall which in solo queue is great. She makes it super easy to force the attacker's presence so you'll never be caught off guard which with no callouts can happen a lot but not with Malusi. With four bulletproof banshee traps that cover so much ground and create noise and slow the attackers down it makes it super hard to attack against Malusi. If you remember Legion a few seasons ago how good he was, well Malusi has pretty much replaced his role since he's been nerfed. Like I said she has four bulletproof traps, a secondary shotgun to make rotates and lines of sight, impact grenades to make rotates as well and however you want to use them during the round and a super easy to use primary weapon in the mp5. In solo queue trap operators reign supreme and out of all the trap ops Malusi has the most well-rounded kit. So it's no surprise that I have her as the number two best solo queue operator in my opinion the best solo queue defender. But moving on to the number one spot as the best solo queue operator in the game we have Buck. Buck is probably the most versatile operator on attack. Versatility is amazing for solo queue especially on attack as you don't know what your teammates are going to do so if you need to adjust to them versatile operators make it super easy. And that on top of many other reasons makes him one of the most played attackers on both console and PC. If you want to play vertical above or below the site you have Buck. If you want to quickly make plays or rotate between rooms you have Buck. If there's a hatch or a reinforced wall in your way you have Buck. If you want to frag out with one of the best guns in the game you have Buck. If you already have hard breachers you can just bring flash grenades. There's pretty much no way to stop Buck and you can run him every round if you wanted to. It's rare that you'll see an operator this good in almost every area of the game so play him before he's nerfed. And having this much versatility combined with overwhelming ability to frag out Buck in my opinion is the best solo queue attacker in the game. If you feel you improved from this video or you enjoyed the video consider liking and subscribing and if you want to watch more of my content then click the video popping up on your screen.